Combining like terms, example number one. When you combine like terms, you're collecting or putting together things that go together. The way you know whether or not things go together is whether or not they have the exact same variable. These two things have the exact same variable. It's like you have 14 X's here, eight X's here. You take these two, you put them together, and you get a total of 22 X's. Example number two. This one has three terms. There are only two things that go together in this problem. It's the 6a and the 8a. These two go together. I've got 6a's right here, 8a's right here. I put these two together. I have a total of 14a's. This number down here on the end doesn't have a variable. It's called a constant. The term that doesn't have a variable always goes on the end. Whatever sign this number is always goes in between these terms. So if you've got a term that does not have a variable, always put it on the end. Example number three. Again, I have three terms. I'm combining the like terms, putting together the ones that go together. So I look at my terms. This one right here has an X and this one right here has an X. Those are the two that go together. I have eight X's here, seven X's here. Once I put them together, I have a total of 15 X's. Then I bring this plus four Y because I can't combine it with the other ones and set it down right there. I have no constant out here. Another thing that we need to pay attention to is these terms need to be put in alphabetical order. It's really not correct unless these things are in alphabetical order. So X's come before Y's. This one right here is good. Example number four. I have a total of four terms. Everything with a K goes together. It's got 11 K's right here and negative 4K right here. It's like I have 11 K's and I'm taking 4 K's away from it. 11 minus 4, 7 K's. Same with my H's down here. I have 6 H's right here, 3 H's right there. Put them together for a total of 9 H's. Then, like problem number three, or example number three, I need to make sure these things are in the correct order. Make sure that they're in alphabetical order. Once I check that, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, H's come before K, so I need to move this 9H to the front, and what kind of 7K is this? It's positive, so I put plus 7K. These things need to be put in alphabetical order for them to be correct. Example number five. Again, I have four terms. I put together all the ones that are alike. So I start with this 5x right here. I look and see if there are any other terms that have x's in them. This 12x, 5x, and 12x put together, 17x. Then I need to put my y's together. This is negative 9y. This one right here, negative 6y. If I know my rules for combining integers together, if the signs are the same, you add them together and keep the sign. Just like I did with this one. The signs were the same here. For these x's, I added them together and kept the sign. Same thing here. 9 plus 6 is 15, and I keep the sign. Negative 15. Why? These are in alphabetical order. This is the correct answer.